So a quick breakdown of what's happened since the interior walls. We finished all of those up. Then we set the rest of those ceiling joists. After that, we did the rim joists for those. And then after that, we did the sheeting that you now see on the floor of the second story or ceiling of the first story. Moving on from there, we've just began framing out all these exterior walls so far for the second story. A little bit about the sheeting, it's tongue and groove. This stuff's half inch thick OSB. Basically, we have the tongue sticking off on the west side of the house, and then we have the groove on the opposite side, the east side. We laid that first set down, and then we would slide the tongue inside the groove, obviously, and then nail everything down so it is dead straight and very strong and secure. Uh, like on the exterior of your house, when you sheet with OSB, it's not tongue and groove because you don't need those pieces to interlock. Uh, but for a floor, you want that floor really sturdy. You don't want it lifting and separating. And you just want the strength of those pieces all combined together. Here's part of the rim joist right there. Any walls that are either on the east or the west side are getting those rim joists to hold all the ceiling joists together. If you remember, the ceiling joists ran this way along east to west line so at the end of them you want them capped off to keep them from teetering over because if you think about it they're all running next to each other but nothing's holding them together they're just nailed into uh the framing below it so they could easily parallelogram and teeter over any which way the rim joist fixes that it holds all of those completely together there's another example of that rim joist uh, this part doesn't get any. That's not uh, the actual ceiling joists. That's just framing. The ceiling joists on the staircase end up here. That is the staircase. So this is just framing. No point having a room joist there when there's no joists. And then here's some of our framing for the exterior second story walls. Hey, Dad. Hey, Grandpa. Here's the stairwell. Stairwell. Oh, crap. And there's the first second story exterior wall. On to the next one. And here we are, it's about 9.30. We got the, eh, a little over halfway done on this second story framing. We're gonna finish this up another day. As you can see, the upstairs is just about finished. Uh, we have to sheet the outside, so you can see the OSB hanging out. We have a little bit of it sheeted. Then we have one interior wall. Time to switch gears. We're going back inside to look at the staircase. The first step was drawing out these lines. And then you can see my dad, after he cut them, stepping on all of the pieces to get rid of them. And there it is with all of the pieces cut out and ready for some stairs. So my dad then installed that first piece, did the same thing three more times, and installed all of them. The next step is to actually cut out the stair pieces that you will be stepping on. Here you can see my dad running these through the table saw, which is such an awesome tool. You set the fence and it is so easy to get the same size piece over and over again. After installing the stairs, you can see that it looks really amazing and is pretty sturdy. We're going to cheat a little bit. Here you see us ahead. Uh, as you can tell, there's insulation and electrical. <laughs> nice save, Dad. But uh, the important part here is not just the glue that he's putting down here, which helps your stairs uh, not creak and just be sturdier and firmer in general, but the secret sauce is the drywall that you see on either side of those stairs. My dad did this in order to save the drywallers some time. Another way to do this is to run the stairs full width and have the drywallers cut out around each stair. But it takes a lot more time and it's a lot more things to think about as far as finish work goes. This is just a much easier, cleaner, simpler way, especially if you know you have to do drywall on the rest of the wall here. It just saves a lot of time. And you can see that clean edge will be much easier to work with later. Here's a final look at the exterior of the house. This is before we had all of the shooting up, so I guess there was a little more done, but Here's what we're looking at with two stories. So this wraps up our framing video. Uh, there's quite a lot to it, a lot of little details, uh, but the general concept, as you've seen, is pretty straightforward. Uh, this was 
not meant to be an all-inclusive step-by-step guide but at least you see what it looks like yeah the rest of it from here is just a little bit more sheeting and tying up some loose ends but other than that we're ready to move on to trusses so thanks so much for watching guys see you next time